Hello, today we're going to be exploring snowflakes. We're going to learn how to make the spiky kind. We're going to learn how to make round ones. We're going to learn how to make the traditional sort of diamond ones. Okay, for our snowflakes we're going to need printer paper or notebook paper, scissors, and a pencil. Okay, um, each, all of our snowflakes are going to take squares today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rectangular paper and bring one corner down and over so it forms a triangle on top of our rectangle. I'm using printer paper, but it works just the same for um, notebook paper. And then you're going to cut off that little extra rectangle like that. Okay, we're going to start with our easiest snowflake. Um, and for our easiest snowflake, you're going to just keep it folded in half. Okay, now it's a square like that. Um, the folded side is going to be towards you, the pointed side or the open and closed side away from you. And then I'm going to bring the one corner here over to the other side like that. Okay. And then one more time, we're going to bring this bottom corner up to the top like this. Okay. All right, so this, um, the long side here, the side that doesn't have the three points is the middle, okay? The side that you can't find three points, this is the middle. And then the side where it's kind of like pages in a book, that's the outside edge of your snowflake, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do, and you don't have to do anything special, I like to draw just so that I don't start cutting and haven't figured out what I want to do. This is the outside edge, and I want it to have kind of a little curve to it. This is the middle, remember we talked about that. And maybe I'd like to have it be kind of a diamond shape like that. All right, when you're doing the two sides, um, it's important to leave space on the fold because you don't want to cut the whole thing or you'll just end up with a pile of scraps. Okay, so once you've done and figured out your outside edge and your center point, you're gonna want to deal with these two sides. And let's keep it simple. Um, it's symmetrical, so I'm going to draw a half a circle, I'm going to draw a half of a triangle, and maybe a little rectangle here. And it's important to leave space on the fold so that you don't end up with a big pile of scraps. And then over here, maybe a kind of snowman sort of shape like that, and maybe kind of a long, thin triangle like that. Okay, then we're ready to cut. You're gonna, gonna leave it folded. This is gonna make lots of scraps and it's kind of fun because sometimes they shoot all over the place. You're gonna cut just on that line, but everywhere. Remember to leave some space on those folds because you don't want it to fall into a big pile of scraps. Okay, then I'm gonna cut my half of an oval. Make sure I leave space on the fold, both to above and below it, here and here. I'm going to cut my triangle, make sure I leave space here and here, I'm going to cut my rectangle, and you can choose your mind, change your mind when you are um, cutting if you want to do something different. Okay, so here is the top or the middle, okay, and we talked about doing kind of a diamond shape there. Then I'm going to do the other side, but make sure here again that I leave space on the fold above and below the shapes that I'm cutting. And then when you've done all done cutting, it's going to look kind of like this, okay? And then it's magic time. Just open it up and you should have a very pretty diamond snowflake. Okay, for our spiky snowflake, it's going to be a little different. We're going to um, make our square like we did for the others, okay? And um, then we're going to open it and make sure we have our square. Then we're going to make what's called a mountain base. I don't know if you remember from when we did the jumping frog origami, but that was a mountain base at the beginning. And we're going to start it by folding that square into a triangle and bring one side to the other like this. Okay. And then it is important to open it back up, turn it, 
um, so that the fold is vertical or up and down. And then you're gonna bring that um, bottom point to the top again. If you don't open it, it's not gonna um, make it easy to make your mountain base, okay? Then you are gonna open it all the way up. You're gonna um, turn it over so it's kind of like a tent shape like this. You're gonna push on those two sides like this. And our goal is to have the front and back triangles stack on top of each other like this. And then just flatten it down into a triangle shape, okay, or a mountain shape. All right, so next, leaving it like a mountain with the long side towards you and the point away, you can see that right here is the middle, okay? So I'm gonna take this side, both of them together, and bring it in to that middle like this. And I'm gonna use my thumbnail to rub back and forth so it stays in the middle, okay? Then I'm gonna take the other side like this and bring it over top like this, okay? So it's going to look like a triangle with too many triangles at the bottom, okay? Then my first step, holding it um, sideways like this a little bit, I'm gonna cut off those two little triangles at the bottom, kind of curved a little bit, so it's kind of like I'm making a skinny smile like that. Okay, so just like with our other snowflake, the pages of the book is gonna be the outside edge, and the point here, right across from them, is the center of the snowflake. Okay, I'm gonna use a marker so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you're going to um, just plan your two sides. When you're doing a spiky snowflake, instead of cutting and thinking about these edges, you're gonna think about the center here. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna start here and for this one, maybe it's just gonna be a kind of big zigzag. I don't wanna to go too much more than halfway in. And then I'm gonna come over and think about the other side. And maybe the other side will just be some curves, okay? So what you're gonna be cutting is actually a little triangle in here to make it spiky instead of um, crystal-y like the first one that we made was. Okay, so then I wanna think just a little bit about my middle of my snowflake here. So maybe I'm gonna do just a series of kind of rectangles. Come in like this, up, over, and across like that. And then, just like before, we're gonna keep it folded like this, okay? And then I'm going to cut, but what I'm cutting this time is, um, on that line, I'm not cutting these outside folds though, okay? And I'm only, like I said, gonna go about halfway up so that um, my snowflake with its spike stays together. Then I'm gonna turn and start this other half like this, okay? Cutting just on that line, okay? And, um, being careful not to cut all the way through to the edges because we want it to stay together nicely for us. Okay, so I've cut that kind of shapely little triangle shape out of the middle. And then it's time to think about the point in the center. So I'm gonna just come in like this, like that. Okay. All right, so this one's fairly simple. And when I open it up, I'm going to end up with a spiky snowflake, okay? So, and the spiky snowflake is a little different than the first one we made because it's um, spikes going out to the sides like that, okay? And the first one we made was more of a diamond shape. This one's more round, and this one's more of a diamond shape. Okay. If you want to, you can be super planful about your spiky snowflake. Um, and what I mean by that is we're going to make one where um, one of the spikes is kind of like a snowman and the other spike is like a Christmas tree. Okay. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to make our mountain base again by holding it like a diamond, folding it into a triangle, opening it up again. Turning that fold vertical, folding it in half again, okay, opening the whole thing up so it's like a tent, 
pushing those two sides in so those two triangles come together like that, flattening it down. I'm gonna find that middle right here, okay? I'm going to bring both of these sides into the middle like this. So I have a point, and I'm gonna rub that fold back and forth like this. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, bringing it all the way out to this side like that. Okay. And rubbing back and forth. Then I'm gonna use my scissors to cut these two little triangles at the bottom off. And I like mine curvy because it makes it nice and round. Okay, then I'm gonna remember that this is my outside edge and this is my center of my snowflake. All right, and to be super planful, um, and you don't have to do this unless you want to, uh, give it a try. I'm going to draw half of my snowman's hat like that, and half of my snowman's head, half of its middle part of its body, and half of the bottom. I'm not going all the way out to the fold though. Okay, then I'm gonna scoot over and I'm gonna draw the trunk of the tree up like this and do nice, big, kind of evergreen triangles. Okay, and you can even go all the way off the page if you want. All right, then for the center, um, I think I will just do a triangle shape, okay? And then it's time to cut. You're gonna hold it folded and you're gonna cut on those lines that we drew. So I'm gonna do the tree first. Take your time because these are um, a little delicate. Okay, so now it's time to do the other side. I'm gonna come up and start curving around that snow person. <clears throat> Go slow and go carefully, because these are a little delicate, not too bad, but they're a little delicate, and you don't want to accidentally cut where you shouldn't be cutting. Okay, and then the last part is this hat. Okay, so now I have my little snowman spike and my evergreen tree spike, and then the last thing I'm going to do is right here in this middle, I'm going to just cut my diamond off. And this is what it looks like when you're done cutting. And then it's magic time. We're gonna open it up and see what we have. Um, and this one, the spiky ones are, um, you just have to be careful when you're opening them up. Okay. And that's great. We do have some evergreen trees and some snow people all the way around, okay? So whether you're doing a spiky snowflake or you're doing a um, diamond-shaped snowflake, whether you're being planful or whether you're just having fun, be creative and have fun.